All right, welcome back to another episode of Detective Conan and Kendaichi Case Files. In the last episode, we just solved the murder case of Toba Misa, and that was pretty exciting. Just seeing all the things that happen on the manga and on the cartoon and the anime to happen in this game, and we're using it like the stun gun, the skateboard, the voice changing bow tie. Everything was very cool, and I I very much enjoyed it. Now we're gonna continue off on the other Twilight Island in Kindaichi's perspective in the style of Kindaichi Case Files and I'm really excited to play that as well so here we go Another Twilight Island Chapter 2 I can't believe we're only on Chapter 2 I feel like we've been playing for for a while so these chapters are pretty long and that's a good thing The world was distorted like candy being made vivid colors mixed and blended in the light whoa my body feels heavy my body is sinking what what's happening to me what is this what's going on what the... Everything in front of me seemed to be spinning as my body gradually melted into the distance. During it all, I found myself muttering. Me. You. Ki. Me. You. Ki. I murmured that over and over. I was half conscious. Uh, uh. Huh? What? What happened? Where? Where am I? A beach? Why am I here? Ugh. Damn. My head hurts. What's going on? First, I need to sort out everything that happened until now. Last night, I snuck into a certain place with Uncle Kemochi. The place I went to with Uncle was... Oh, okay, so my logic points gets refilled in every chapter. Okay, I see. That makes sense. Is the Folk Museum. That's it, the f Folk Museum. While looking around the exhibition room, I suddenly felt dizzy. I guess I lost consciousness after that. Why did I suddenly faint? And where am I? The scenery, I've seen it before. It's Twilight Island Beach. But I thought I fainted in the folk museum. So why am I here? I don't think I sleepwalk here. And then I realized that I had a scrap of paper inside my pocket. What the? I don't remember having this. Please free us from the 25 year curse of Twilight Island. What does that mean? Also, what a headache. Man, I'm so lost. Well, for now, let's go to the inn where Miyuki is. I said I'd be back soon, but it's morning. Bet she's worried. But who knows, maybe she's still sleeping soundly at the inn. I'm here at the inn, but... Hmm, what is it? The strange feeling. Excuse me. No answer. Excuse me. Is anyone here? Nobody's here? Even the inn owner isn't here? Let's go inside.
Cough, cough. Whoa, so much dust. Cough, cough. Was this room always this dusty? So it feels like it's either where we've gone to the past or it's in the future. Right? Like, it's one of, one of those. I mean, obviously, it could also be another a parallel universe, like they say, but I don't know. Salmon. It's too quiet, like a ghost town. Miyuki! Uncle! Miss Landlady! Are you here? Nobody's here? Where do they all go? As I thought, this is very strange. Neither Miyuki, uncle, nor the owner are here. What happened? Alright, let's visit the other parts of the island. out the port. Huh? No. This isn't the ferry arrival port. It looks similar, but it's not the same. So that means that this island... This isn't Twilight Island? It looks like Twilight Island's ferry port, but... But it's not. But if this isn't Twilight Island, where am I? Am I on a different island? Let's explore around the island and gather information. Whoa, it's so old. Yeah, it's either another island or in the future then. Like, everything's worn down. This lighthouse. It's really rusty. The paint's coming off, too. Doesn't look like they're too scrupulous with the maintenance. There was a large lighthouse on Twilight Island, but it couldn't have been this shabby. The lighthouse on is a tourist attraction. What? That doesn't make sense. Does this mean that I'm not on Twilight Island? But the lighthouse, beach, and inn all resemble Twilight Island. Is this place Twilight Island? Or a completely different one? I see. Let's go to the street with the gift store where Misa works. If I see how it is there, everything should be clear. Whether this island is Twilight Island or not. Oh. Now it looks like it's in the past. Like everything is in the past, but super dusty. Hmm. This is... not Twilight Lane? Which means... This island really isn't Twilight Island. Great. So I'm somehow... land- so I somehow landed on a different island. Wait a second. Suddenly, from Twilight Island to another place. This is... There are rumors about people on this island being spirited away. So this phenomenon is... Spirited away? Does this mean I'm also spirited away? This sucks. I was investigating disappearances and ended up disappearing. Anyway, there's nothing I can do now. Let's go back to where Misa is. Twilight Island. But to do that, first I have to find out what island I am on now. Hmm? Perfect, there's someone over there. I'm gonna talk to him. Excuse me, sir. Hmm? What is it? I'm in a hurry. Huh? never seen you before. Are you a newcomer? 
What? A newcomer? Sorry, what is your name? Okay, I'll tell you. I'm your senior. Don't forget my name. Got it. My name is Fukuhara Kazuo. And newcomer, what's your name? I'm Kindaiji Hajime. Kindaiji. That's a strange name. Well, nice to meet you. By the way, you said newcomer. Was that referring to me? Yeah. You came to this island to work too, right? You would have no other reason to come to this boring island. Work? Where? Where? Isn't it obvious? At the coal mine. Where else could I mean? Yep, we're in the past. For sure. Okay, so everything's like kept the same way that it looks. And like polished up. Uh, for the Taurus, but in the past, everything's like run down dirty like this. Coal mine? So this island's main business is coal mining. Oh yeah, Twilight Island also had a coal mine a long time ago. Regardless, I'm glad we have a newcomer. Up until now, I was at the bottom. Now I have someone even lower than me. I basically just got a promotion. Okay. I don't think it's considered a promotion. That's it. I have something else much more important to ask. Let's ask this guy about this island. Actually, I have a question. Is this island... Whoa! Oh my god, look at the time! I'm gonna be late because of a newcomer. Damn it, let's hurry. Hmm? Hurry? Where to? Where? The coal mine. We're going to the coal mine. A coal miner like me doesn't have any other place to go. Jeez, we don't have time to talk. I'm seriously late. I gotta go. I'm going ahead of you. Come after me. Wait. Hey, I didn't get to ask you the most important question. I wanted to know where this island is and what it's called. Fukuhara-san, please wait. I'm coming too. In order to find out what kind of island I was on, I ran after the guy named Fukuhara and headed to, in his direction. Towards the coal mine that he ran off to. Okay, see, like, this is another... I think pretty short one. Yep, it was only been like, what, 13 minutes? So I'm gonna keep playing, and hopefully the next checkpoint isn't too far away. Like, this pacing is kind of weird. Like, not the pacing, just like the segmenting of checkpoints. This is the coal mine factory. Oh, you're here. I'm surprised at how fast you came. Uh... Um... Hmm... Your name was... Let me see... Hey, you already forgot? It's King Daichi. Oh, right. Sorry, sorry. I'm not very good at memorizing people's names. Haha. <laughs> You're worse than not very good. Oh, that reminds me. What did you want? You kept stopping me earlier. Let's continue the discussion from earlier and ask about this island. Continuing where we left off, what's this island called? This island's name? Isn't it obvious? This is Twilight Island, of course. What? You didn't hear me? This island's name is... Twilight Island! Twilight Island? Why are you so surprised? That's very strange. 
Are you sure? Ah! I just remembered. I'm late. Damn, I have to hurry up. If I take any longer, the boss will be pissed at me. Hey, wait! Damn it, he left. But I'm confused. This island's name is also... Twilight Island? That can't be possible. It seems I have to investigate this island more. So... I guess I'll investigate this coal mine factory right in front of me. It may not be a good idea to enter this factory without permission. I should first search the surrounding. This looks like the factory's courtyard. I don't see anyone here. Perfect. This is a great time to investigate carefully. The walls are worn out. It looks like a pretty old factory. I can see smoke rising from the other factory. Is that a storage room? What? What was that? I heard a noise from in there. Wait, wait. Is there nothing else to investigate? Okay, okay. Coming! Hello? Is anyone there? What? Is there... someone inside? Hey, what's wrong? Is someone in there? Let me... out. Huh? Let me out of here. I won't let you off easily. Get me out of here. This voice. I feel like I've heard it before. Do you know who I am? I'm Ken Mochi from the Metropolitan Police. Let me out of here. Uncle? It's definitely him. That's his voice. Let me out. Let me out of here. Why is Uncle here? But right now, I need to... Wait, Uncle. I'm going to open the door now. Okay. Let me out. Let me out of here. Wait, Uncle. I'm going to let you out. Okay, so it's not like investigate, then... Oh, I can just enter. Uncle! I thought it was you. King Daichi? Is it really you? What happened? What are you doing here? It's pretty self-explanatory. Self-explanatory? Uncle is... handcuffed to an iron pillar. I was made prisoner. Made prisoner? Who did this to you? We'll talk later. First, help me out of these handcuffs. Hurry up, please. Got it. I'll get you out of those. Alright. I'll take off those handcuffs and set Uncle free. So I have to find a way to remove those handcuffs. Okay, a couple of things to look at. These are keys. But there are so many of them. There are numbers attached to each key. One of those should be the key for the handcuffs. The guys who imprisoned me here mixed the key in that bunch. I understand that, but... There are so many keys it will take a lot of time to try them all. You don't have that much time. Do something, King Daichi. Even if you ask me to do something... Strange numbers are lined up. It looks like a code. Maybe this is... Hey, Kindaichi, hurry up! Okay. Oops. This is the pillar that Uncle is handcuffed to. It's a pretty solid pillar. I'm not weak, but I'm not strong enough to break this. Uncle, he's handcuffed to the pillar. Who did this? No, instead of thinking about that, I need to free Uncle first. Well, I need to solve that code so 
to find the right key. So how do I initiate that? There are countless numbers of keys with number. The key for Uncle's handcuff should be here, but there are too many. I don't have the time to try them one by one. Let's solve this. Some strange numbers are lined up, looks like a code. 12 equals 0. 9 equals 270. 3 equals 1. How do I initiate this? Maybe this is. Okay, and initiate it by itself. Hey, King Daichi, hurry up! Mm, no, I didn't. Okay, what? Who locked you up here? I'll tell you the entire story later. We don't have to talk. Time to talk right now. Get these handcuffs off. Yeah. Okay. About the paper. Say, Uncle. If the guys who shut you in here look at the paper on this wall. Hmm. Oh yeah. The guys who put me in here were looking at that paper. It was as if they were checking something. Is that true? Yes, I'm sure. Just as I thought, if I'm correct, this paper should have the number of the key that will set you free. And the reason they have a code for it is to prevent outsiders from guessing the number of the key. If I solve the code written on this paper, I can find the right key. Code. Are you okay, Kindaichi? Uncle, who do you think I am? Trust me. Okay, let's have a look at this code again. I see, I'm beginning to see the logic behind this code. The number on the left, 36912, these numbers indicate time on a clock. With that, we can also figure out the number on the right. 12 is 0, 9 is 70, 6 is 180. It's like what times thirty? So it's sixty. Although I don't know why. I mean, twelve is zero because it's like on the clock it's zero. Is it? Like how many minutes? Or how many seconds? Hmm? I don't know. We'll see. No, that's not it. Let's think about it one more time. It seems like the numbers have to do with hands of a clock. Okay. So the numbers I should go in... Okay. So at 12 o'clock, it's zero. At 6 o'clock, it's 180 degrees. Oh, at... And at 9 o'clock, it's... Uh, 270 degrees, so... Then... At 3 o'clock... It's just 90 degrees? Ugh. No, 9! I want 9! Why?! So frustrating! Come on! Wait, how am I writing this wrong? Have I been writing wrong? <laughs> writing nine wrong my whole life? Here we go. Come on. Seven. Okay. What the hell? Why is that nine? That looks that. <laughs> Why did you recognize that as a nine? That's it. This re represents the different angles of a clock. The numbers on the left represent the time, and the numbers on the right represent the angle. 6 o'clock is 180 degrees, 9 o'clock is 207 degrees, and 12 o'clock is 0 degrees. So, at 3 o'clock, the angle is... 90 degrees. The key must be number 90. 
Hey, now that you've solved it, hurry up and get these off. I keep telling you this, but we don't have time. Hurry up and use the number 90 key to free me. Yes, yes, I know. Jeez. At least let me finish. See? Didn't I tell you? I removed them, uncle. Man, I owe you. To think you, whose job it is to handcuff people, but also... I mean, it's pretty ironic, isn't it? Kindaichi, don't make jokes that aren't funny. Damn, I will not let them go unpunished. But first, we have to get out. Let's go, Kindaichi. What's wrong, uncle? You seem really anxious. Just hurry, I'll tell you later. Okay. Where are you going? Are you planning to escape from here? You've got some nerve. But unfortunately, I can't just let you go. We don't want outsiders wandering around this island. We're completely trapped. What the hell? Who are these people? Uncle! Damn, they caught us. That's why I told you to hurry. So, it was them. Yeah, that's right. They're the ones who locked me in that place. Hey kid, I haven't seen you before. If you know that man, you must be an outsider too. Let me tell you something. I'm not a kid. My name is Kindaichi Hajime. Uncle is... I guess you could call it an inseparable relationship. And who are you? My name is... Hiyoki Ryohei. I'm the manager of the mining company. Okay, so he's the... He's the mayor of Twilight Town when we were playing as Conan. And this is probably like... In the past, so he was just a manager of the company. Manager? Then, you're a pretty prestigious guy. You don't look it. Apparently, the manager of the mining company on the island Kemochi and Kendaichi are on. He's hostile towards Kendaichi, who came from the outside. Kendaichi, watch your mouth. These people are dangerous. Dangerous? Please don't talk about us like that. We merely want to isolate suspicious outsiders, like violent, insane men who yell strange things. You bastards. You think I'll let you go easily after what you did? I'm a police officer from the Metropolitan Police Department. If you think I'm lying, I'll show you my identification. I understand that you're an officer. So? On this island, we have our own rules. If you think your ways will work on this island, you're wrong. What the hell? These people aren't normal. They locked up Uncle, even while knowing that he's a police officer? Who are they? Just confess the truth. Where is this place? Who are you? What are you planning to do on this island? Uncle, what's going on? I'll explain later. I need to figure out their intention first. Hey, speak. Answer my question now. Fine. I'll explain one more time for your terrible memory. This island is Twilight Island. I'm a resident of this place. And the people around me are the coal miners that I hired for my factory. My introduction is over. Happy? This island is Twilight Island. This person said the exact same thing as the other guy. Hmm. Huh. This is Twilight Island? I'm not believing any of your BS. After all, we're from the real Twilight Island. The real Twilight Island? The real Twilight Island is a southern island paradise famous among tourists. How is this place a paradise? It's just a rotten coal island. How is this place, Twilight Island? Shut up. There's no fake island. There's only Twilight Island.
and it's this island. If you dare call my home fake, I won't forgive you. Whoa, this guy's mood suddenly changed. No more pointless arguments. I can't leave a dangerous person like you alone, after all. I'll have you be quiet for a while, even if I use brute force. Wait, sorry, but I don't approve your plan. What he says is the truth. You too, huh? Then you can join him in that storehouse. Uncle, can you run? Can we escape? Only one way to find out. Yeah, you're right. Alright, let's go. What are you two whispering about? Do you want to obey my orders? Or would you prefer me to use force? I'll let you choose. What do you want? Huh. Neither. Sorry. What? I said sorry! Uncle, run! Ah! They ran off. After them. We suddenly ran into a group of coal miners. To escape from these incomprehensible people, we ran. We didn't know where to, but we ran as fast as we could. When we used up all of our energy, we finally stopped. Puff, puff, puff. Uncle, are you okay? I haven't ran like this in years. I, I can't run anymore. But I think we were able to get away from them. We've come this far, so we should be okay now. I hope so. At any rate, I don't see anyone after us now. Maybe I should exchange information with Uncle, including how we got on this island. Uncle, can you tell me what happened? After I entered the Folk Museum, what happened? After you went in the Folk Museum, I suddenly lost consciousness. I may have breathed some sort of gas. You too. Don't tell me. The same thing happened to you. Yeah. Everything in front of me suddenly became dark. And I lost consciousness. When I woke up, I was on a beach on this island. So you were lucky. When I woke up, the coal factory was in front of me. And the coal miners were staring at me. I was confused, so I asked the guys around me what was going on. They kept telling me things I couldn't understand, so I finally went into a rage. I started yelling at them and questioning them persistently. Before I knew it, they were after me, and I ended up in that storehouse. Even so, isn't it ironic how both of us are spirited away now? Spirited away? Yeah. This phenomenon. It's exactly like the others, right? People who suddenly disappeared, it's exactly the same. What a fate. Go for wool and come home shorn, isn't it? Say, uncle, this island, it's strange. The miners said this place was Twilight Island, but... Uncle, what do you think? Complete nonsense. How is this Twilight Island? But there are a lot of similarities. No matter how much they look alike, it's clearly that this isn't it. You saw that coal mine factory, didn't you? Twilight Island's mine was closed 25 years ago, and it's now a museum. An island that has a working coal mine can't be Twilight Island. And also, if this is Twilight Island, we should be able to find Taurus or Nanase-kun more easily. That's true, but when I spoke about Twilight Island earlier, that guy Hiyoki suddenly got serious and asserted that this was Twilight Island. Judging from his behavior, I don't think he was lying. This island may really be Twilight Island. Hey, King Daichi, what are you saying? Don't get me wrong, uncle. All I'm saying is that 
This island could be another island called Twilight Island. Another island with the same name. That's what you meant. I see. Another Twilight Island. But does such an island really exist? Uncle, who are those people? It seems they work at the coal mine factory, but I know nothing else. Whenever I asked about anything else, they answered, I don't know. But I swear, these workers are planning something. They're suspicious. They are all suspicious. Uncle, he still has a grudge against those who locked him up. The man who calls himself the manager of the factory, Hioki. He's... it's like I'm his enemy. I bet he's plotting something that's against the law. That's why I was imprisoned there. Hmm. I wonder... Where is this island? How do we land here? No idea. Jeez. There are a load of questions we've yet to answer. There are too many similarities between these islands. We have to find out why. While figuring out these weird disappearances. Too many things I don't get. Gonna be a tough job. Since he ran with all his strength, Uncle is exhausted. But I'm exhausted as well. I'll talk to him about our next move. So, Uncle, what are we going to do now? I'd like to contact someone outside this island to ask for help, but... It seems there's no way to get in touch with the outside world. There aren't any decent boats, either. That's what I heard the coal miners say when I was locked up. So this island is an abandoned, solitary island. It could be that they're just hiding it. Well... For now, we should find a place where we can hide. I don't think these guys will let us off that easily. This may not be the safest place. Yeah, you're right. Huh? What's that sound? Kindaichi, it's coming from your body. This machine sound... Oh my god! When I lost consciousness, someone turned my body into a cyborg's... Hold off on the stupidity and check your pockets. Jeez, you don't get my jokes. We're not in a situation where we can joke around. Let me see. Pockets, pockets. Hmm. There's something in my pocket. It's... It's the badge Nanase-kun picked up on the ferry. It looks like it's ringing. Noisy. Anyway, stop that sound. I know. Let's play with it. Let me see. There's a dial on the back. If I turn it... Kindaichi-san, can you hear me? Eh? A human? voice? If you hear me, say something. Hey, who is it? It worked? Is this Kindaichi-san? Yeah, that's me. Since I can hear a voice, does that mean this thing is a transmitter? That's right, Kindaichi-san. What you're holding now is called a detective badge. Oh, a detective badge, eh? Wait, are you a kid? Why do you know my name? Hajime-chan, it's me! Miyuki? Is that you, Miyuki? So it's really you, Hajime-chan. Miyuki, sorry. I told you I'd be back soon, but... Hajime-chan, are you safe? Where are you now? Yeah, I'm safe, but... As for my current location, I really don't know. But if this shoddy transmitter can reach them, I don't think I'm that far. 
Kindaishi-san, what do you mean you don't know where you are? The boy from earlier. It's pretty pointless speaking to a kid. No matter how much I may need help, this isn't something a child can understand. Hand the badge thing to a reliable adult. That's okay, you can talk to me. Hey, don't be such a brat. Hurry up and let me talk to an adult. I get it. I'll call you right back. Yeah, thanks. So it seems, this gizmo is a transmitter. But good job, Kindaichi. You can call for help with that. Yeah, that's true. To think that this badge Miyuki gave me would help us. Thank you, Miyuki. Kindaichi, it's ringing. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's answer. This is Kindaichi. Can you hear me? Hey, answer me. You're not the kid from earlier. I heard the story from Miyuki-san. You said you don't know where you are, but what does that mean? Tell me everything you can. Before that, who the hell is this? Hold on, who are you? Can I really trust you? Do you have anyone else you can rely on? Just trust me and tell me. This excessive self-confidence. I don't like it. But it's true. I have no other choice but to rely on him. Guess it can't be helped. I will. But I don't know everything either. Are you on Twilight Island? Or are you someplace else? It's like Twilight Island, but also isn't. I have no possible answers. It's not a clear answer. What do you mean? I don't get it either. I don't know where I am. This island, it's similar to Twilight Island, but it's also another Twilight Island. Sorry, that's the only thing I can say for now. And also, there are some strange workers here. They're all saying this is Twilight Island. Kindaichi, regardless, find out more about that island. It may be linked to the Spirit of Wait mystery. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, but... Even so, who the hell is he? He's not some average guy. Say, tell me now, who the hell are you? A detective. I'm investigating the disappearances too. A detective? From your voice and way of speaking, you should be about my age. Yeah, so it seems. So, what's your name? About that. Sorry, but I have my reasons for not revealing my name. You have your reasons for not, res not sharing your name? I have my own problems I'm dealing with. And besides that, from what I can hear, you're also a detective? And also the grandson of the famous detective Kindaichi Kotsuke. So we're both detectives. That's a strange fate. Yeah. Was it by chance? Or... Destiny? But I haven't accepted you yet since you won't even tell me your name. Honestly, I'm not too sure about relying on you. I'll show that you have no need to worry. You'll see. This expression full of confidence. You may actually be someone reliable. But I don't like him. Huh. It's alright like this, but... So, what are you planning to do? A classmate of mine is missing on Twilight Island right now. I'm planning to look for her. If she was spirited away like me, she may be nearby. Do you mean Toba Misa? Eh? You know Misa? Yeah, I do. Kindaichi, I'm sorry, but you won't be able to find Misa-san. I won't be able to? Why not? 
What is this bad presentiment? Never mind me. The important thing is Misa. What's with that stance of his? I have a bad feeling. Calm down and listen carefully. Misa-san is... dead. Dead? What are you saying? Don't joke around. It's true. Misa-san was murdered last night. Murdered? You're kidding, right? Who? Who killed Misa? I don't know yet. Misa was murdered? How is that possible? What the hell are you saying? Why? Misa? I know. Look at Misa's room. Misa was expecting a horrifying case to occur on Twilight Island. So maybe she left something for me there. Hey, are you there? Hello? Damn, we can't use it. The connection was lost. Is it... broken? Shit! Why now? It doesn't look like it's completely broken, but... If we use it anymore, it will break for sure. It's better to wait before trying to use it one more time. In the end, we can't call for help. Nothing else we can do. And... Toba Misa being murdered. What the hell is this about? How is it related to the disappearances? I don't get it at all. I have... no ideas. Sorry, uncle. King Daichi. Sorry, too. I didn't mind your feelings enough. To know that a friend died. You would of course be shocked. It's true. Her death is a shock, but there's no point staying depressed. Yeah, we don't have the time to be depressed. I have something to do. The guy who killed Misa, I'll catch him. And for that, we have to solve the mysteries of this island. Let's get away from here. Stop there. No more hide and seek. Give up quietly. Shit, they found us. Nowhere left to go. No, uncle. It's too early to give up. What are you talking about? So sneakily. Just warning you, but old tricks like hide and seek won't work. Look who's talking. You were just fooled by an old trick. If you desist now and stay calm, no one will be harmed. You'll be waiting quietly in the storehouse soon. After all, we don't want outsiders destroying our island. Got it. Just thought of a way out of this situation. For Misa, too. I won't give up. The way out of this situation is... Hmm, to bluff, to run and flee, and, or to persuade them. Is there a way to persuade them? I feel like that's the most logical choice. Yoki-san, won't you let us leave? We're not such bad people. I can't trust you. I'll be in trouble if you suddenly start talking crazy again, especially this old man. Who are you calling crazy? I'm saying it's you that's crazy. I think we need a bluff. See? It's hard to just persuade them. I think we need a bluff, yeah. Hyoki-san, let's make a deal. A deal? What? I don't know what you're up to, but if you let us go free, we won't bother you anymore. What do you mean? You seem very vigilant about outsiders coming to this island. I don't know why you don't like people from the outside, but won't you be troubled? For example, if police were to come to this island. You're saying the police will come? And how are you planning to call them? There's no way to contact the outside world on this island. Look at this. What is it? A kid's toy? And what about it? You're saying it's a toy. It's true, it looks like one. But, if you look closely, 
It's a state-of-the-art police beacon. As you know, this old man Kamoshi is an inspector from the MPD. Are you surprised at policemen carrying this sort of thing now? It's the best bluff I've got. Oh, they don't believe me. This doesn't smell good. Hey, Kindaichi, are you okay? Let me do it. Shit. There's no other way. We have to get out of this with my bluff. You're free to believe me or not, but it'll be too late when you realize the police are actually coming, no? Is it our last chance? Well, it's normal for you to not have seen this one before. Because it's the super latest device that the police are so proud of. It may be small, but the features are exceptional. It can connect from anywhere, all over the world. Is it over? Show me the proof. The proof? I want proof showing you really can use this transmitter. It's nearly broken, so I don't really want to use it, but... Well, show me the proof. Now. But if I don't show we can use it, Hiyoki won't be convinced. I have no choice. Alright, I'll show you we can call out with this badge. Hello, can you hear me? There's no answer. Are we done for? Hey. Kindaichi, right? They answered. Hi, Kindaichi here. No, they cut out. That's all for now. But you saw it, right? This is a transmitter. It does seem like one, but so what? Even if it really is, all I have to do is take it from you. You can't do that. This is the latest thing police have developed against terrorists. If something happened to this owner, an SOS signal goes out. And the headquarters will know about it right away. So, if you take it from us, the police will be combing for this island in a few minutes. And, why aren't you doing so? You were already chased. Wouldn't it be better for you to use this SOS function? Well, that's... Because it's for emergency situations only. If we use it that way, Uncle's reputation will be tarnished. He's already not in too high of a position, so... Kindaichi, you didn't have to mention that part. Anyway, we only want to resolve this case as gently as possible. So, it's a deal. If you promise to let us go free, we won't use this transmitter. What do they think? If this doesn't work, we have no other plan. There are a few things I want you to promise us. Eh? Then you? It's not like I'm believing you so easily, but it's okay this time. As for your request, I'll promise to let you go free. But don't put your nose in your business ever again. It's an important job. We don't want to be bothered. Don't partake in any strange investigations over the over here. All these people here are delicate. Okay, it's a deal. So, get going. Now. Got it. We're leaving. Uncle? Yeah. Yoki-san, is it okay to let them go? In a few days. Until we dig this up, we don't want the police on this island. Even if they were bluffing, it's better for us to be prudent. And these two won't solve the mystery of this Twilight Island. The only thing they'll be able to do is... At most, lose their way and get lost. On this Twilight Island with no exit. Okay, so it is actually two different Twilight Islands since they're speaking like, okay, this this Twilight Island and 
like another Twilight Island. So this is the mirror. And they're still mining for stuff on this island. Hmm. Interesting. Yep, okay, this is a great place to end it. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like it, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.